I already made three videos on Spotify plugins and all of them had a big delay before the song actually updated to the currently playing song. But right now I found one that updates instantly. I will show you how to set up everything after thanking the sponsor for today which is Owned Pro. This is a free plugin for OBS Studio and once installed you can find it under Tools and then Owned Pro. It has a huge amount of graphic packs and the top 5 are always free. You can install them extremely easy by clicking on it and then clicking on install free design. The whole pack will be imported with a few scenes so then you can set up everything and you can use this completely for free on your stream. If you decide to upgrade then you will get access to all the overlay packs right here. There are 16 pages of them. The link to owned pro will be in my description. Okay so the program we're gonna use is called snip and you can find it on github i will add the link to the description you can just click on it you will arrive here then here on top you will find the latest release so you just click on this right here to download the zip folder then you should go to your downloads you just copy the zip folder we just downloaded you go to your documents and then you just paste it right there then you will need a program like 7zip or winrar they all work the same way you right click your zip you go to the name of the program and then you say extract here once that's finished you can just delete the zip folder we don't need it anymore we can open the snip folder and this is the program you will need to install it right now so just double click on it and because I tested this program before it automatically authorizes but you will need to log in with your Spotify and then give it access to your account and then once that's done you can close your browser because right now in the folder you will find two new files which is a text file and then an image file now these two files will update all the time depending on which song you're playing so let's open Spotify, let's put them next to each other and now I'm gonna select this text file because then on the right you will see the content of the text file. Now you will see that when I play a new song in Spotify it will update right here and there we go. Now we're gonna import this in OBS or Streamlabs but first we need to get our album cover and that's this right here but by default it will not work. To make it work you should click this arrow to open the background programs then this is the icon of the program we just installed which is snip you just right click it and then you say save album artwork now once you did this you should play a new song so let's play faded right here and now the artwork should have been updated so let's click on it and there we go now this will be pretty small so we want to make it bigger so we go back to snip and then we say keep spotify album artwork and we make it medium and right now it's bigger this is perfect now we have the title and the artist and then the artwork if you want the song title and the artist separately you can also just right click it and then here you see save information separately right now you'll see this changing when i play another song there we go now we have a bunch of different things so this right here is it combined then this is just a title and then this is the artist so now it's time to add everything in obs so let's open it and by the way you can do everything in streamlabs obs it's exactly the same thing the first thing we'll do is import everything so let's click on the plus icon then choose image let's call it spotify album cover now click on ok click on browse and now we want to go to our program which is in our documents snip and then here you will see snip artwork.jpg this will always be the current album cover so we open it we click on ok now let's add the title we click on the plus icon we choose text let's call it spotify current song click on ok so right now instead of adding text right here we click read from file browse and then in the same folder you will find snip.text which is the title and the artist so we just open this let's click on ok and as you see the title is way too big so to make it smaller instead of scaling it the better thing to do is double clicking it in the sources going to select font and then right here you see the size let's make this something like 120 you can also change the font here the font style just click on ok click on ok and then it has been changed now let's add both graphics so you will find the link to my discord in the description you just click on it you join the server and then here you will see free stuff neon overlay pack this is a complete overlay pack that i made for my viewers you can download it and use it if you want and i've added the spotify graphics so you just click on this google drive link and then on the top right you will see a download button this will download everything all at once there we go this is a zip folder you just click on it 
and then here you see all the contents you just extract this and then the inside will look like this now for the graphics for this video you want to go to music now in this folder you will find two files element one is the background and then element two is to give the album cover rounded corners i'll get into this in a minute so to add the background let's click on the plus icon go to image call it spotify background let's click on ok then again on browse and now you want to go to the neon pack you just downloaded once you're in the folder go to music and then choose the background here let's double click it click on ok and then don't rescale it because we will do something else first we want to give the artwork rounded corners because that will look much better you just look for the album cover in the sources as you see it's selected right now you right click it you go to filters you click the plus icon and then you choose image mask blend just click on ok then click on browse and right now in the neon pack in the music folder you will find now playing overlay 2 and as you see this is just a square with rounded corners when you open it then this will be used as a mask right now we change the type to alpha mask alpha channel and as you see now the album cover will have the same shape as the image we used which had rounded corners let's click on close and if the album cover is way smaller for you and if it's bad quality because of pixels then you just need to go to your open programs you right click snip then you go to keep spotify album artwork and you select medium so now we want to put everything together but as you see the album artwork goes behind the background to fix this we need to change the order of the layers here so make sure that the background is on the bottom just above your game and that then you have the album cover and the song so now you just reposition it you rescale it a bit something like this then you drag the title right here and right now it's perfect but it's because the title is pretty short if you choose a longer title for example this one right here has a long title then you will see that the title is way too long so to fix that you want to right click on the spotify current song so the text file for the title you go to filters then you click on the plus icon and you go to scroll click on ok add some horizontal speed like this and then it will start scrolling but right now it's still way too wide so to fix that we click on limit width and then we change the width to something like 1100 this worked fine for my screen size so we just close this and then you can reposition it and it will always scroll so this looks great right now but the problem we have is that the last letter sticks to the first one as you can see so to fix that we want to go to our program here we right click it and then you go to set output format now as you see this program always gives the title first and then the artist which is this one right here which sticks to the title so because of that we need to add some spaces behind the artist format so let's add something like three spaces click on save and then it will change let's change the song so we can see it let's click on play go to here and then as you see faded alan walker and then some space and then again faded alan walker and then it will keep scrolling like this now many people like some transparency so to do that you just right click on spotify background you go to filters plus icon color correction okay and then here you see opacity you can reduce this a bit and then this will make it transparent maybe a bit less something like this let's click on close i think this looks good now let's group them together so let's click on the current song hold control click on the album cover click on the background right click it go to group selected items and then call it spotify now we can close the folder and then we have one folder here for the spotify now playing and then you can just make it smaller now something you could do is disable the album cover you can just hide it like this in the sources now one last thing i want to show you because some people need this is how you can add spotify to obs or streamlabs obs and mute it for yourself but make sure that the stream can hear it now what you want to do is send spotify to a separate audio device that we can control separately so to do that right click on your sound here go to open sound settings and then click on app volume and device preferences then if spotify is playing a song it will appear right here we can change the output of spotify to a separate device and you should search for something that you're not using so for example this one right here is an audio port in my monitor this is an audio port in my audio 
other monitor. This is one in my PC that I'm not using. If for example, you have a laptop which has one audio jack and you're using that for your headphone, then you won't have an audio device right here that you're not using. So then you go to Google and you install virtual cable. You just download it, you install it, and then you will have a source here called speakers VB audio virtual cable. You can also use that. So now Spotify is going to speakers audio virtual cable or something else in your PC that you're not using. Then you go to the settings in OBS or Streamlabs OBS to the audio tab and then you choose that device right here. So for example speakers VB audio virtual cable that's what I sent Spotify to. So I select this I click on OK and right now you will see that this is playing Spotify. So right now I am not hearing my music. Now to fix this you want to go to the settings here you want to go to advanced audio properties right here this is Spotify audio monitoring is turned off which means that it's only going to the stream if I set it to monitor only Spotify is being monitored which means that we hear it but it's not specifically being sent to the stream but so let's close this let's go to the settings to audio you see right here if I add my headphones like this then this right here is Spotify this is being monitored which means that it's going to my headphones but not to the stream but because we are also importing my headphones here to make the viewers hear my game and my YouTube or whatever that means that the Spotify source which is only going to my headphones will also go to the stream because the stream is hearing my headphones so then you have a choice either you and your stream hear the music which means that you set it to monitor only or only your stream hears the music which means that you set it to monitor off close it and then you see right now it's going to the stream it's not being played in my headphones now if this video was helpful i would really appreciate it if you would like it because that helps a lot in the algorithm i completely lost my voice during this recording but if you like the video it will all have been worth it in my next video i will show you how you can make viewers send text to speech messages with channel points so they don't have to donate to you but you still get the stream interaction from getting funny text to speech messages because people can just send them with channel points which is great so if you want to see that subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video and i will see you in the next video have a nice day